Hey, so I'm hearing um, Murray's with um, his dog Pippi in the background. <laughs> she wants some attention, but I'm hearing Murray tell me to study. And um, we've been talking to Lot today about um, his presentation to the Business League and also um, his workshop that's going to follow in September. So, Murray, hello. Hi. Rick, how are you? I'm all rugged up for the cold I know, here. it's so cold. It's freezing. Because we're out in Crumman Valley. Crumman Valley, yeah. Oh, Two it, degrees last night. Oh, it was four degrees at our place the other day oh, in the morning. Oh, no, it's but, unbelievable. Um, anyway, here we are on the Gold Coast and lucky to be on the Gold Coast, not experiencing that every day and just in a cold week. But these guys don't want to hear about how cold we are, Murray. Okay. But no. they, do want to, um, they do want to hear about what you're going to be talking about when you come to generously... Uh, gift of your experience, one at the Business League and then two from the workshop. But what I want to know is a lot. there's a lot of interest being generated on, you know, well, what's Murray covering this workshop and what's he's talking about it and is it for me? So we've been talking today on what you're going to be covering in that workshop and what we think will benefit most to the people who can come along. And we've come up with three things that we're going to talk about. Do you want me to tell everyone? Yes. Yeah, that's a good idea. <laughs> Um, we're going to be looking at the key barriers to growth. Yep. And then the structures, the, the crucial structures for someone who wants to expand. And then also how to strategize to sell, which is really your, after your, all your experience growing Donut King and the Retail Food Group and other businesses, public companies, public companies where you are best suited. Even, even at the university, they have the same challenges. As businesses, yep. Yeah, so uh, we feel really privileged, and I always, to get people of your colour coming to speak <laughs> with us. Cut that and out. <laughs> not cutting that out. Yeah. And you're going to be able to share um, with these guys. So who, you know, why would someone need to be hearing this information right now? Beck, I think, you know, with 30, 35 years around businesses, I've never seen times more challenging. Um we have a, a world full of capital, but it's difficult to get. We mm. have challenges in margins. We have challenges in generating sales. We have challenges in generating new business. And I think those people in small business has never been a more important time to focus on their business and take whatever advice and knowledge they can glean to improve their business because that situation we're in at the moment mm. with socio-economic international financial situation uh us china europe goes on and, and just on. the fact that things are changing so fast things are changing dramatically digitization technology artificial intelligence yeah. innovation you've got to be on top of it so the short answer to your question is i would welcome the opportunity and hope i can provide some insights into how people can focus on the key drivers that will not only maintain the business, grow it, turn it around and increase profits. Yeah, well, I think that if you're listening right now and thinking if it's for you, Murray still sits on some of the um, you know, boards and positions in companies that are, go from defunct to profitsville, which in my words, not him, in a short period of time. And the fact that he's stayed relevant through over that 35 years of business is enough to make me sit down and listen in. So... If that's you, the details are below this video and around this video, so check it out. But Murray, thanks. My pleasure, Beck, <laughs> and I actually look forward to uh, meeting everybody on the day because it certainly is a time for focus. Absolutely. All right, I'm Rebecca Plant. This is Murray Dalmita. Wave, Murray. Thanks, everyone. <laughs> we'll see you soon. Cheers.